Happy Mail Queen. I have another Alina Craft Design Team project for you guys and I'm super excited to share my next project with you because um, I had been working hard on it. Uh, it's a bigger project than I usually do and um, it is birthday themed and uh, they are embellishment slash mini album uh, projects and I, I created two so uh let's see if I can just do one video um otherwise I will split it into two so let's go ahead and show you what I created before I show you the project let me show you the products that I used and um I used one of the frames it's not this one but it's one of these uh, wooden frames that she carries in the store I'll make sure I leave all the links to the products that I used I also used this one uh, a few of the dice here are older dice because the one of the projects that I was working on it it's I've been working on it for months um, kind of stop and go type of project so anyway I did use this one I used this curtain window die I also used this one and I apologize this one is not even in her shop anymore but I used just this um, butterfly or bow if you will um, I used this tag die that is always one of my go-to tag dies I used this uh, teardrop shaped uh, edge heart nesting die and I used the smaller ones um, and then from her newer release I did use the present die because like I said this is birthday themed so the presents uh, these two dies uh, and then also the balloons I used this happy birthday nesting square and then I also used the notebook Polaroid uh, die that she has in her shop from the previous release and I did use uh, this one and the smile and I think those are the only two that I used so lots and lots of dies here you guys and um, make sure you check out the description box for the list of products that I used okay so my for my very first one this is a Maggie Holmes style embellishment book not style but um maggie holmes uh paper collection that i used which is an older collection called confetti and i love the way this came out some of the elements here you probably have seen already because like i said i've been working on this for months but i finally got everything completed and in there and so let me just go ahead and share the whole thing with you um so this is a embellishment book slash mini album using the confetti um, collection by Maggie Holmes as well as other papers. It measures uh, five and a half by seven and three quarters. No, seven and a half. Sorry. And as you can see here, I used that wooden um, frame from Alina Craft. I did share this before. If this looks familiar, this is a uh, card front that I had created a while back but I turned it into um, the front of my mini album and um, again um, some embellishments from the uh, Maggie Holmes collection and the flowers um, another Maggie Holmes uh, chipboard piece here and some bling and then I did layer it um, on a couple of uh, specialty paper the uh, foil gold foil paper and as as well as this pretty 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 blue um, glitter paper I think from Michaels if I'm not mistaken and then I added uh, lots of little blings from Alina craft um, this uh, sequence right here that is actually from um, the collection from the Maggie Holmes collection now here I used uh, some ribbon from my stash some uh, gold eyelash trim as well as the star trim and um, on that star trim I hooked um, this dangle and um, it's very simple but it's you know kind of Maggie Holmes inspired <laughs> um, this is actually a piece from uh it's already a, a ready-made dangle but i just added a couple of charms and put it on uh jump rings and a clasp and um 
this is um you guys are familiar with this this is a swan from hobby lobby but very cute and appropriate and then i just put this uh cute little uh, bow charm from uh that's actually from frank garcia studio okay so let's go ahead and open it inside i put some chipboard that says happy birthday um so this is um you know a little more shabby style i guess kind of um not too shabby though um i made a tag here and uh, put a bow and i can't remember if this is an alina craft bow um but um i do believe she has something like this in the store and then i made some rosette um, embellishments that she can just pop out um you know the recipient can pop out and just to let you guys know this is a pocketed uh page and um i did use some craft envelopes from michael's and then i stitched as you can see here each page is stitched onto that envelope and um, i used some gold thread and this this particular one is a half album half embellishment book because i did um, put uh, some mats for pictures if they want to this is a vellum piece here that i stitched on this cardstock and then i did also stitch um this um tab and i think it's from a tab punch that i have from we are memory keepers if i'm not mistaken okay for the second page here i created this flap um which is acetate and this acetate piece here i think it's from michael's and then um i did put some um rosettes in there and both of them are very similar and they're stitch rosettes as well i think i shared this before put a, a shabby button there oh and this flap here i forgot to show you this is actually an alina craft i believe it's an alina craft um die as well and i think that is part of uh i will leave the link in the description box i also use this doily this half doily die and i forgot to show you it's a semi-circle doily and that's also from Alina Craft. And then, um, oh, so this one is like part of this vintage handle. The little, this part here, the closure is actually made from this piece right here. All right. And both of them are pretty much the same. So I, I made her a couple of rosettes and I thought that was just a, a different um, look. Um, making these little pockets out of acetate and of course I did some stitching as you can see all around um, both my friends um, that are receiving um, these books they they both stitch you know they both um, know how to sew a little bit so um, or they do so <laughs> not a little bit but probably more than I do um, made some vellum um, butterflies using that bow die that she does not carry anymore in the store. I apologize. Um, and I just layered two, two um, uh, the vellum on top of the Maggie Holmes paper. And again, it's all stitched. And um, if she wanted to, she can cut some of these butterflies and use them. Um, and then again, I just put acetate on top, the same acetate as across here. And again, this is just a very simple and stitched uh, mat. And then here I have another tag with some embellishments that she can pop out. I did some fancy stitching here. Um, as you can see there, uh, this is um, on my brother's uh, sewing machine. And I think it's uh, number 49. Uh, they're like they look like little leaves but that's the number of the stitch and then um, i did some down here too and then some fancy ones here this one's a different stitching um so like i said i've been working on this embellishment book for a while kind of on and off because um i kind of lost my mojo and then i you know then i you know how it goes <laughs> sometimes that just happens but i finally completed it so i was um really really happy about it um, I stitched, um, 
this crepe paper uh, trim. And then I put this bow on top. So very simple page because I didn't really want to cover this up. I love this Maggie Holmes. One of my favorite papers from Maggie Holmes. Confetti. Um, this one here is another acetate piece. I think from Michaels. I'm not sure. I've just had it for a while. And again, a very simple um, little mat. And then here is like a it's actually a card that I made and I just stuck in there. Um, I'll probably just, um, you know, put a little sentiment and it says sunshine. And this is um, using um, another Maggie Holmes collection, um, but it's actually the, it's the summer one. Uh, it escapes me right now what the collection is called, but you guys probably know. Again, I did some fancy stitching here. Fancy for me. Maybe for some of you, it's you know just a regular stitch, but... And then here I used vellum. Uh, I can't remember if this is an Alina Craft vellum. No, it's not because I used this, did this a while ago. Put lots and lots of sequins. And I still wanted this paper to show because, again, it's a pretty paper from Maggie Holmes. And it has the rosettes on it. So, of course, I had to put a rosette on this page. Um, put a chipboard piece there. And then um, just... Um, put some stars for the tail and I thought that came out so so cute and then uh, celebrate a uh, chipboard piece right there so this is only like a half page um, <laughs> um, shaker and then here is another so remember you can use acetate um, all your you know acetate um, in your stash and um, you can create some fun and pretty uh, mats on your mini albums. And then here's the last page here. Um, there is that um, heart uh, with the teardrop edge. And then um, I made some, uh, what is this? It's not acetate. It's a ribbon from Hobby Lobby. Um, anyway, I made some bows using um, an Alina Craft die. It's a different bow die than the other bow that was here. I forgot to pull that out, sorry. Um, again, I used, I love stitching some of these. And um, lastly, I used that window die. And again, I created a vellum uh, shaker that she can just pop out um, I think I just put uh, what do you call it double-sided um, foam tape and she can use that shaker this is um, a die from my stash it's not Alina craft um, and I can't remember what it is I think it's Lala La land maybe I don't know I can't remember um, and then this is a punch uh, butterfly and I just use some bling and again, everything's stitched. So this is a fun, fun um, album that I created for a friend who is going to be celebrating her birthday. And uh, so I made another one, you guys. I've been busy. Um, I made another one. And because this was kind of like my guinea pig uh, <laughs> um, embellishment book, I don't think I've ever really actually made an embellishment book this size. You know, I do many albums, but um, it's been a while. So um, I'm really proud of this work here that I did and the fact that I just stitched every page. I love it. And I hope the recipient will love it too. Since I still have so much to share, I don't want this video to get too long. So let, we're going to do a part two, you guys. So please stay tuned and see part 